members only exclusive content. Mi gente, ¿cómo estamos? Coach Jules acá. Five, five, five. Drop left. Good. Yes. Up. Cushion. Good. 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 Push off. Well done. Play. Yes. Little angle here. Play. Yes. Touch across. Play. Good. Come touch. Drop out. Good. Make a decision. Make a decision. Good. Drop in. Drop in here. Cuando está recibiendo el balón para después jugar hacia adelante, está usando su pie cercano, lo que está causando que el balón siempre se fuera muy lejos de donde él se quería ir. Entonces lo que le pedimos es que... Make a decision. Great clearance, you know. Cobbs, that second action, very good. Where you had your body open and you actually cleared with your right foot. Oh, yes, Cobbs! 2v1! If you can't beat that player to the air for whatever reason, try and put him at least off balance. So contest that ball where even if they get a header, it's not a clear header where they, they can generate. Mi gente, ¿cómo estamos? Coach Jules acá. Eh, esta mañana vamos a hacer una sesión con un jugador de 20 años, un central que en un momentico se los voy a presentar. Eh, la sesión va a ser en español, pero obviamente con el hablar en inglés y les pasaré todo cada momento que estamos trabajando, también se lo haré en español. Él es un, como dije al principio, es un central, así que es una sesión específicamente defensiva técnico-táctica, vamos a trabajar mucho la parte técnica, pero también en ciertos movimientos tácticos referentes a un central. Así que, pongan cuidado. How are you, Cobes? Yeah, good. good, mate? Bueno. Yeah. <laughs> Cobes, just quickly, what position do you play? Uh, center back. Perfect. And how old are you? Uh, 18. And you play in the New South Wales MPL? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. 18. Ah, young thing. Eh, bueno, mi gente, como les dije, a Cobes siempre le va a hablar en inglés, pero la explicación va a ser en español. Acá en un momentico vamos a hacer un trabajo de agilidad y movimientos de reacción muy específicos para un central. Empezamos sin el balón y después traemos el balón. Listo, así que lo vamos a hacer. Cubs, get into the middle, son. Let's get it. Cubs, just in the middle of the box. So, simple exercise, obviously, just getting you to work on your reaction. You've got yellow to your um, right, red to your left. And then you've also got a back cone either right or left. So all we're going to do is just work a little bit on your normal defensive movements. So if I say yellow or red, you're just squeezing forward, sideways or squeezing forwards to your red. If I say drop right, you obviously drop to your right. Okay, get around the cone and back in. If I say drop left, you drop around the left and get yourself back in. Okay, if I say go, you just take off beyond me. That's all it is to start off with. Come a little bit more central. Okay, ready? Yellow. Good. Red. Good. Red. Good. Job left. Good. Job right. Good. Yellow. Take off. Good. I'm going to do two quick fire sets without the ball, Cobes. Ready? Nice and light on my feet. Ready? Job left. Good. Nice and low when I'd react. Yellow. Good. Red. Red. Good. Job right. Take off. Acá simplemente lo que estamos trabajando es la reacción de Kobe. Reacciones cortas pero muy re, eh, relevantes a lo que hacía un, a, haría un central. Achicar a la derecha, achicar a la izquierda o eh, retroceder hacia la derecha o a la izquierda. All right. Kobe, what we're going to do now, going to introduce the ball early thing. Your reactions behind you will still be without the ball. However, your reactions forward will now be with the ball. So if I say yellow, work your way to the back, uh, to the side, sorry, bounce right. Bounce left and work yourself back into the middle. If I say red, it's obviously opposites. Bounce left, boom. Bounce right, good. If I say drop right, you just drop right as normal, get yourself back in. Drop left, get yourself normal, back in. Okay, ready? Drop left. Good. Red. Yes, play, use that voice. Play, play, play. Good, nice and relaxed. Yellow. Yes, play, play, play. Drop left. Reaction, bang, bang, bang. Know where that is. Drop right. Play. Good. Yellow. Yes, play, 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 red, play, play, good, take off, let's go, good, two of those, last couple in here, Cobes, got this set, one more variation, then we're done, ready, yellow, yes, play, 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 get there, good, oh, take it off that pass, drop left, take it off that pass, eyes forward, eyes forward, drop right, 
Yes. Red. Yes. Play. 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 Good. Yellow. Good. Play. 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 Good. Drop right. Good. Take off. Good. Hold. Cobes, last one. We're going to exactly the same at the front. At the back now, when you react, we're going to introduce a little cushion header. So if I say back right, you get around the right. As you come in, focus on the ball, cushion header back into me. And then you're live. Okay, so just nice cushion header. Always try and get it back into my hands. So this ball, I'll keep it in my hands. This ball will always be on the ground. Ready? Two sets and then we're done. And then obviously when I say go, we still take off. Ready? Yellow. Yes. Play. 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 Drop left. Good. Yes. Up. Cushion. Good. Yellow. Play. Good. Play. Play. Red. Yep. Play. Play. Good. Play. Drop right. Work your feet. Work your feet. Yes. Up. Get there. Good. Ah, firm on with that header. Drop left. Push to that ball. You want to drop it at my hands. Yep. Play. Good. Red. Play. Play. Good. Take off. Off we go. Good. Recover. One more little set, Cobes. Drop right. Good. Come. Yep. Play. Play. Good. Yellow. Play. 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 Red. Yep. Play. Play. Good. Come on. Take care of that pass. Play. Good. Drop left. Back in. Up. Might get you a little bit higher now. Drop right. Yes. Early. Time your jump. Good boy. Yellow. Play. Play. Ah, push that ball. Play. Red. Play. Play. Drop left. Come in. Up. Take off. Off we go. Ah, don't be lazy with that last bit. Good. Close. Done. La... La razón que hacemos esto principalmente es al principio siempre nos, nos gusta traer las reacciones con los jugadores. Eh, cuando traemos el balón obviamente trae más relevancia al juego. Y aunque en un juego no habría tanta repetición, también es traer un poco esa reacción y esa capacidad cardiovascular del jugador. ¿Feel good? Grab a drink. Bueno, entonces ya terminamos allá. Ahora seguimos con la parte un poco técnica, algo sencillo. Vamos a trabajar en, en pivotear o jugar de un toque a jugar a dos toques, o sea, so solamente vamos a enfocar en controlar el balón y en pase en una zona corta. Ahora se lo voy a explicar a él para que le entienda. Okay, so in here, what we're going to do, where you put the balls, perfect. So, first one will be very simple. All we're going to do is start in that gap there. So, use this just as guides for your passing. Okay, you're going to drop a little bit deeper. Perfect. All you're going to do is, I'll play to you, touch across onto the next gap. Play me. Drop in again. So never follow the ball. Just drop in. It's just touch across. Play me. So all we want to do is make sure that our touch is nice and tight through these gaps. Drop in again. Yeah. So we just use this gap. Don't worry about coming forward. Touch. Play. As we get to this gap, we just change the angle slowly and we go the opposite way. Touch. Play. So the focus in here is purely your first touch. Okay? Acá solamente nos estamos enfocando en el control del jugador. Tenemos estas zonas que es nada más como una guía por donde él tiene que eh, pasar el balón, pero es algo súper sencillo, simplemente para traer en su primer toque. All right, Cubs, get that voice going. Good first touch, way to pass. In here, it should be all right to left, right to left. Ready, play. Touch, yes, play me, good. Yep, drop in again, good movement. Touch, play, drop in again, good. Touch, play, good, opposite way, good. Great start. We're going to work twice each way. Drop, play. Touch through. Great touch, you know, Cobes. Yep. Play. Touch. One more there each way. Play. Touch. Good. Play. Touch across. Good. Take care of this pass. Get those eyes forward. Play. Touch. Play. Get those eyes forward. Yep. Touch. Play. Good. Yep. Play. Touch. Get those eyes forward. Play. Good. Last one. Rest here. Play. Oh. Good. Have a breather. What I want you to focus on a bit more here. Yeah. So it's purely about your first touch, yeah. but a key thing is that we want really, really good consistency and really good quality. So every time you take a touch across, make sure your touch is good enough that you touch and make eye contact straight away. So at the moment, what's happening is play. You're touching and you're keeping your eyes forward and play. The pass is still okay because one, obviously, there's nothing trying to intercept the ball and two, the distance isn't too far. Yeah, but obviously to get a little bit of game rele relevancy. Good first touch. Yep, ask forward, play. Come forward. Yep, play. Good. Touch. Yep, play. So notice how as soon as I take my touch, 
Obviously, if I'm confident that it's been a good touch, I get my eyes forward. Yeah? Go back. Lo que le estoy pidiendo ahí a él es, obviamente acá no tenemos un jugador que le esté tratando de interceptar el balón o poniéndole mucha presión a él, pero para quedar un poquito de, de relación al juego, le estoy pidiendo que cada vez que controle el balón, balón de derecha a izquierda en ese momento, mientras que lo mueve, que mire hacia adelante, hacia dónde va a pasar el balón. Porque en ese momento, siempre que toca el balón, tiene los ojos hacia abajo y no está mirando su pase. Entonces vamos a hacer eso, pero vamos a repetir con ese detalle. Ready, Cobes? And then we'll change it slightly. Yes, play. Touch, as forward. Make sure you get onto your left foot. So this should be a little bit harder for your first touch. Yeah, there we go. Firmer pass. Good. As forward. Get that touch out of your feet. Opposite way now. Good. Touch across, as forward. Good boy. Yep. Touch across. Play. Tighter, tighter. Good. Yep. As forward. Touch across. Move that ball. One more to do. Each way. Yes. Play. Touch. Good, Cobes. Take off this pass. Firm my pass, hit my right foot, hit my right foot, good. Yes. Yep, touch, play, good, opposite way. Take care of that first touch, play, touch, yep, play, good. Yes. Touch across, play, good, close, one more. Yes. Touch across, eyes forward, find my feet. Yes. Good, hold, much better, good. Entonces ahí podemos ver un poquito que, ya que le estoy pidiendo que levante los ojos cada vez que me va a jugar, a veces su control se le queda un poquito atrás o debajo del pie. Pero la idea es que el control sea tan bueno que cuando lo toque ni siquiera tenga que mirar hacia abajo, sino que siempre está mirando por su próxima opción. Right, guys, one more variation in here. It's going to be a little bit more work for you. Have a breather. Let's start on the outside, all the way on the outside. So your orange spots are going to be a little bit of a guard where you have to actually come and squeeze. Okay, so you're going to drop nice and deep from there. This time, I want you to start opening out that body. So rather than receiving with that nearest foot to me, receive with that furthest one, okay? Obviously, if you need to, you adjust and you receive with that one. So you touch across, play through this gap. Every time you play, you're gonna come and squeeze in here. Boom, then drop back out. Okay, so we're gonna have that move when you come. Yep, play, and then you drop back out. So that movement, after you play with the ball, squeeze, and then you always receive on the deep end again. Touch across, so you constantly Playing, squeezing, readjusting your body position, okay? What I want, make sure that you're not playing to me and just any sort of pass so you can get the quick, focus on the pass. Acá lo que vamos a hacer es vamos a agregar un poco de movimiento después del balón. Entonces cada vez que él me juegue a mí, va a subir a una de estas rayas eh, naranjas a poner un, un poquito de presión y después se devuelve. Ready? Yes, check. Good, keep that body open. Play, come squeeze. Good. Drop out. Good. Open that body. Good touch in front of you. Good curves. Play. Drop out. Yes. Touch across. Play. Tighter with that first touch. Think about the direction of your first touch. Play. Touch. Play and change that body position now. Good. Excellent. Play. Touch through. Tighter. Tighter. Yes. Touch across. Play. Good. Touch through. Good. Play. And have a breather. We'll only do one at a time. Good. Have a breather there. Good. In here, when you open your body, it can be. So if I'm, if I'm, on, if you're on the ball, and I'm in this position, I always have to consider where my touch needs to go next. So make sure you're not opening the whole way. You're just in an angled position, so your touch can always be in here. So then you can play. Okay, a couple of times you were receiving the ball, and obviously the touch is going here, so it's going a little bit far away from you. Okay, ready, drop. Yes, touch. Get that touch out of your feet, Cubs. Otherwise, this pass surface. Good. Touch on an angle so you can play forward. Good, much better. Drop. Good. Squeeze diagonally. So squeeze this one here. Squeeze this one here. Good. Drop out. Touch. Play. Squeeze this one here. Then change your body position. Good. Touch across. Playing to me. Squeeze here. Good. Yes. Good first touch. Touch. Squeeze this one here, Cobes. Good. Last one. Last one. Touch. Play. Touch. Good. Have a breather. Good. Well done, Cobes. Eh, bueno. Ahora el resto de la sesión va a ser completamente basada en la fase defensiva. Acá vamos a hacer un poco de trabajo de, de nuevo de achique y de retroceder. Va a empezar con el balón. Todavía esta parte va a ser un poco técnica, pero ya en adelante va a ser movimientos defensivos, eh, reacciones defensivas y también procesando un poco de información detrás. Y basado en esa información, Colby va a tomar decisiones. Y después de ahí, ya vamos a hacer un poco de trabajo defendiendo ya la zona de la, del área, que es muy importante para un central en, el, en este momento. All right. Cause what we're going to do in here, 
jumping behind that rope. So the first bit would be fairly simple, just working still on your technique, but it's gonna be also about coming forward, so closing down, dropping deep. St choose either trapezium, don't mind. Perfect, just there. So in the trapezium, you're gonna go two step in. So if you're on the right side, go with your right side first. When you, when you step in and out, you quickly move to the side of the trapezium, bounce, drop deep. Good, I'll face this bowling, take a touch where it's in between the rope, play me, work your way around the side, touch in and out, drop out, bounce, good, drop deep, I'll touch across, play, good, straight into the trapezium, okay? What we're gonna try and do, we're gonna work around three or four on each side, so it's gonna be a little bit of a blow, and then from there we're gonna introduce a, bit, a few more defensive movements, okay? Ready, play, yes, good, bounce here, good, drop in, touch, I'm gonna start fizzing this ball in, so we wanna test that touch, okay? Start again, ready, play, yes, play, little one, good, touch, Ah, take that bounce off that ball. Good, work your feet. Touch, play, play, good. Yep, play, touch. Good. Yes, drop out. Little one here, good. Ah, touch. Yes, come short. Good. Boom, boom, drop out, shoulders. Good first touch. See me, good. Yes, little one, little one, drop deep. Touch, get there, good. We've got two more, one on each side. Yep, play, drop, good. Touch across, play. Yes, Cobes, good. Yes, little one, drop deep, touch across, play and hold, good, have a breath, good, yeah, it's fine, that's quite simple. La idea con eso es simplemente que queremos que venga hacia el balón, achique, y después retroceda un poco, pero de nuevo, enfocándose mucho en la parte técnica que hoy en día es muy importante para un central. All right, Cobes, have a little breather. I do warn you, this is going to be a blow. Okay, next one, exactly the same through there, okay, boom, I'll bounce, drop into this little gap, touch across, this time what we're going to add is you play into my feet, okay, jump over the rope, this is not going to be fun for me, but come anyway, and you're going to contest the ball, so you're going to get low, hold, hold, three, two, push, and you're off, back over, okay. What we're going to add though is every time you go back over, you drop. So we add an extra touch. You touch across, play into me, and then you're into the trapezium. Okay? And then you do the same thing from this side. Okay, lo que vamos a agregar es cuando el achique, vamos a agregar un poquito de contacto con el jugador que tiene el balón. Obviamente yo voy a mantener el balón, pero él viene y me pone presión y después retrocede. Ready, Cubs? Three, two, play. Drop it on a little angle here. Good. Touch across. Play, yes, good, hold me off, oh, good, jump, good, Jesus Christ, yes, touch across, play, play, good, in and out, yes, trapsies, little one here, good, play, touch, play, oh, take off that pass, good, 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 push off, well done, good, yes, touch across, play, ah, don't play over the trapezium, play around, we've got two more, yep, touch, play, good, yes, go this side now, Yep, good. Try and push me, try and push me. Jump! Good, last one, Cobes. Yep, touch across. Play and follow. In, out. Bounce. Drop deep. Touch across. Play, come in. Last one. Good. Put pressure, put pressure. Good. Jump! Yep, touch across. Play. And hold. Well done. Playing to me, you still come over the rope, but this time you touch, drop back out. Over the rope. Obviously, I'll be careful. I'll get you up. I actually want you to get off the ground. Now, based on how that ball comes, you have the decision to either get it out or play into my feet, okay? What I want you to focus on now is to communicate that as well. So obviously, if you're getting up and it's away, it should be well away from me. So either left or right, yeah? If it's into me, you drop and then you get into a position to receive again. Does that make sense? So you would have dropped into me, position to receive, I play you, Play into me and then we go again from this side. Yeah. If it's away, you just move on to the next one. So I have plenty of balls. So Baz. When do you want to hit it away? Depends on the ball. So that, that comes from the decision of the throw. It's up to you. So you, you need to make that decision as you would in a game. So I'm a, I'm a big believer that as much as possible, even from a defensive header, I'm, I, I really dislike when a centre-back just heads the ball away and there's no pressure around him. Yeah. 
Yeah, obviously, if it's, a, if it's a tough ball or if there's someone contesting with you, obviously, especially the closer you are to the goal, you want to get it away. But if possible, nine times out of ten, and you can even drop that header down for one of your teammates, yeah. best case scenario. Okay? Lo que vamos a hacer ahora, vamos a continuar obviamente con esos movimientos defensivos. Vamos a agregar un retroceso de la, desde, desde esta posición. Cuando el retrocede, yo le voy a tirar el balón en el aire y él tiene que tomar una decisión. Si hace un despeje de, de cabeza, lo que quiere decir que queremos despejar hacia la derecha o hacia la izquierda. O si puede mantener la posición del balón para su equipo, bajándome el balón de cabeza a los pies y ahí seguimos jugando. Entonces lo que le está tratando de explicar es que hoy en día obviamente se le, se le da mucho valor a, a tener el balón. Entonces lo que les decía es como, como central, mi preferencia como técnico es que si es posible, así sea un balón en el aire y quizás dividido, que el central pueda mantener la posesión. Es decir, acá bajármela al pie a mí como su jugador y que sigamos jugando. Obviamente si es en una zona de peligro o una zona donde eh, tiene mucha presión, no le pediría que tratara de controlar o bajar el balón, sino que despejamos. Entonces, basado en cómo venga el balón en el aire, la decisión queda con él si despeja o si me la baja al pie y seguimos jugando. Play. Yes. Little angle here. Play. Yes. Touch across. Play. Good. Come touch. Drop out. Good. Make a decision. Make a decision. Good. Drop in. Drop in here. So we play on. Touch across. Play. Good. Oh, jeez. Yes. Play. Drop on a little angle. Good. Touch across. Play me. Good. Come touch. Drop out. Good. Up. Good. A little bit more distance on that header if we can. So in, in. In, in. Trapezium. Good. Drop on a little angle here. Drop on a little angle here. Play. Yep. Play. Touch across. Play. Oh, take off that pass, Cobes. Yes, touch. Good. Up. What are you going to do? Ah, more distance. Two more. Two more. Yes. Play. Drop in. Good. Touch across. Play. Yes, Cobes. Touch, drop out. Good. What are you going to do? Good. Drop in and play. Drop in and play. Yep. Play. Touch across. Don't play over that trapezium. One more to do. Yes. Bounce. Shoulders. Touch across. Play. Good. Oh, yes. Play. Drop. Up. Good boy. Yep. It's hard because you're getting fatigued and there's a lot of repetition, but when you do make the decision, decision that it needs to go away, try and meet it at the highest point so you can get it away. Okay, so the, obviously, again, because we're fatigued, sometimes we're just meeting underneath the ball. So the ball is just going up. Yeah. So when I meet at a high point, so we can actually get it away. Yeah. Roughly to where Lee's, roughly towards where Baz is over there. And then we come and play again. Yeah. Okay. Second thing, with the second header, if we've been really picky, if you are going to cushion, yeah. and I'm, I'm a huge believer in this, you have to try and find me on the full. Yeah. Okay. Rather than trying to find me with the ball bouncing. Yeah. Okay, or at least where the ball lands at my feet. If it's landing somewhere there, it becomes harder for me to control. The idea is that if you're dropping into me, I'm probably going to have some sort of pressure around me. Okay, so with those cushion headers, whether it's left, right, or especially if it's going central, which is the idea here, try and cushion it to my feet so I can bring it down and we play straight away. Or even I might even be able to play off one, depending on your header. Lo que le está explicando a Jacobs es, obviamente, en este ejercicio ya un poco más enfoque con con la parte de la cabeza, del cabeceo, entonces si él toma la decisión de despejar, de tratar de, de que su salto sea en el punto más alto del balón para que lo pueda despejar con mucha más distancia, obviamente si es un despeje lo queremos despejar hacia la izquierda o hacia la derecha, ¿cierto? en vez de despejar alto y al centro, entonces lo que estaba pasando algunas veces es que Kobe estaba saltando muy tarde cuando el balón está bajando entonces le está dando en, en, en la parte de arriba de la cabeza y simplemente el balón está yendo hacia arriba. Entonces la queremos, queremos llegar al punto más alto del balón para despegarlo más lejos. Cuando me la quiere bajar a mí o al jugador con el que esté jugando, le está pidiendo que en vez de bajarle con el balón rebotando, que si me la puede bajar directamente al pie, porque obviamente estamos en una zona de presión. Entonces cuando me la baja al pie, de ahí podemos jugar más rápido. Vamos a volverlo a hacer. Let's go, Cobes. Let's go this one and then one more set and then we're going to move on. Hopefully the boys will be done after that. Ready? Play. Yes, drop on a little angle here. Good. Deal with it. Yes, Cobes, like it. Touch. Drop out. Good. Make a decision. Good. Much better. Oh, I'll get there. Yes, play. Play. In here. Yes, little bounce. Drop deep. Yep. Play. Touch. Good. Good communication as well. Drop out. Good. Shoulders. Play. Good. Yep. 
In there, in there, in there. In there, good. Play, little one. Shoulders, good. Touch across. Ah, get that touch out of your feet. Got two more. Drop. Yes, play. Yeah, better header. Yes, Cobes. Drop deep. Touch across. Play into me. Good. Oh, yes. Play. Touch. Drop out. Cushion header. Cushion header. Good. Oh, that's the one we want to make sure of. One more to do. Play. Good. Touch across. Play. Yes. Touch. Good. Make a decision. Meet it. Play. Good. And hold. That's a great header. Have a breather. Now, you're going to touch, touch. Touch, touch. As you drop out, you're going to scan. Okay? Ball from here is always going to come in the air. Okay? Now, if it's an even number, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so on, what I want you to do is to control the ball. So pluck it out of the air. Move it to the side. So what, with your first touch, I want you to move it to the side so you can play me straight away. Okay? Then from there, you're going to drop out. Okay? Touch across. Plane to me. Drop deep again. You don't come forward. This time we're going to add a little bit of a distribution or a pass. So I'll play it back to you. Big touch across and find the little goal. Okay. Oh, Cobes. I'll move this ball out of the way. Yeah. We'll, then obviously if you finish at the goal, then we just come and repeat on this side. So the ball from here will always be in the air. Okay. Now, if it's an odd number, one, three, five, seven, so on. Again, ball will come in the air, but it means you have pressure. So what you want to do is try and cushion it back into my feet. Okay, drop into the next space, touch across, play into the little goal. So regardless of whether it's a header or, a, or you control, we we'll always end up by playing into the little goal. So the, big, the detail is you want to move the ball with your first touch. So you don't want to just bring it down, move it to the side, play, and then drop deep. This is the last part of this exercise. What we're going to add is le vamos a pedir a Kobe que ahora la decisión de él venga de lo que ve eh, atrás. Entonces, en los lados yo le voy a tirar el balón en el aire. Mientras que eso sucede, él tiene que procesar la información de atrás. Si es un número par, 2, 4, 6, 8, así, la decisión es que él tiene tiempo. Le estoy pidiendo que baje el balón y encuentre el pie del jugador, o sea, de mí. Y ahí seguimos jugando. Combinamos acá y también le vamos a agregar un pase entre líneas. O sea, queremos que él como central encuentre su volante 5, 8, 10, lo que le queramos llamar. Y después empieza otra vez desde el lado opuesto. Si es un, eh, un número impar detrás, quiere decir que tiene presión. Entonces le pido que me baje el balón de cabeza como estamos haciendo ahora. Y después se mueva para volver a recibirlo. O sea, siempre que él me juegue tiene que volver a hacer una opción. De nuevo, combinamos y él termina con un pase filtrado hacia su 5, 8, 10. Queremos que encuentre el próximo pase. Eso es lo que representa este gol. Yes, shoulders. Good. Yes, cushion. Be an option again. Be an option again. Yep. Play. Touch. Finish. Good. Yes, up. Yes, be an option again. Good. Play. Move it. Touch across. Finish. Find that target. Shoulders. Cushion. Good. Be an option again. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna give you something that's gonna make it maybe a little bit easier. What we'll do is when you touch when you go through the trapezium, still drop out, get a little bounce first, and then you drop off, and then the ball will come in there. So we just add that bounce so you move into a little bit more space. Ready? Play. Yes, good. Bounce. Shoulders. Good. Cushion into my feet. Good boy. Yep. Touch across. Play. Find that target. Good. Yes. Play. Little bounce. Shoulders. Good. Out, out to the side. Play me. Drop in again. Drop in again. Touch across. Play. Much better. Yes. Come get a bounce first. Scan again. Good. Take yourself to the outside. Play me. Good. Yep. Touch. Play. Wow. Readjust those feet a little bit quicker if we can. Yes. Show little one. Play. Yeah. Yes. Cushion. Move again. Play. Touch. Finish. Good. We've got one more set, Cobes. In, out. Come get a little bounce. Drop in. Yes. yes. Good. Yes. Play. Take yourself. Finish. Give me one more set, Cubs. One more set. Yes. Little bounce. Shoulders. Good. Little cushion. Play. Yep. Take yourself. Touch. Push to the ball. Good. Have a breather. Eh, bueno, vamos a hacer una otro, otra ronda para ver si lo mejoramos. Obviamente ya 
llevamos buen tiempo trabajando, entonces Kobe está trabajando bajo fatiga y a mucha repetición, entonces obviamente va a ser un poco, con un poco de error. Entonces vamos a tratar de darle un poco de información que le va a ayudar a manejar un poco más ese lado del error y coger más consistencia con sus movimientos acá. Obviamente el reto más grande acá es que en realidad él no tiene presión, pero entonces nosotros tratamos de crear la presión que habría en un partido con intensidad, con pedirle que haga las cosas un poco más rápido, que cree esa presión él mismo en su mente. Entonces, le vamos a dar un descanso y vamos a volver a repetir. Because there's a lot of repetition, you start to one work on the fatigue yeah. and then you start to work at 100 miles an hour. So, at the moment you're just working at one intensity, it's yeah. quite high, but then that can become really erratic. So, what we're going to do is manage the tempo of what you're doing a little bit more. So, in between rounds, so when you find the target, because you're going to find the target, yeah? Just relax as you make your... So, you always start by coming into the trapezium, yeah. okay? Have a little breather in between. So, yeah. Gives me time to set the ball uh, for the next round anyway. Yeah. So, at the moment, you're just rushing, rushing, rushing. Yeah, slow it down and then focus on each individual action a little bit more. Okay? Yeah. Let's go again. Ahí lo que le pedí es que simplemente estamos trabajando a una velocidad todo el tiempo. Pa, 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 pa. Entonces, se vuelve un poco errático y, y los movimientos no son tan buenos. Entonces, cada vez que él termine con su pase al gol, le estoy pidiendo que se relaje por 4 o 5 segundos y después le va a subir la intensidad. Lo mismo que haremos en un partido. En un partido no siempre se puede traer la max, a la misma intensidad, sea una intensidad alta o una intensidad baja. Uno tiene que, un jugador tiene que saber manejar los tiempos del partido. De pronto, en este momento tengo que recibir y jugar rápido. De pronto, en el próximo, especialmente como un central, recibo el balón, lo controlo, miro, condu, conduzco. Depende de la situación. Entonces, le estoy pidiendo que maneje un poco más el tiempo del partido. So, probably a simple question, but what do you think you need to do with your touch here? Get it nice and wide, yeah? So we don't play through the middle, we're playing from an angled pass. Yes, little one. Sh shoulders. Oh, jeez. Yes, play, Cobes. Play, deal with it, move it. Yeah, much better, push through. Good. Yes, play, good. Yep, little one. Shoulders. Good, take it yourself. Yep. Play, shoulders. Play, touch. Stay where you are. Take it with you, touch. Finish, good, nice and easy, relax. Play, yes. Good, little one. Shoulders. Good. Take yourself, move it to the side. Good, see me. Drop deep. Touch. Yes, play me. Good. Yep. Play. Move it to the side. Good, Cobes. Give me two more good ones. Ah, find that target. Find that target. Yes, play. Little one. Shoulders. Good. Drop it. Drop it. Good. Yep. Play. Move it. Touch. Push through. So we worked on it really quickly over there. When you're dropping deep, to receive from me in here, yeah, not you're not opening. So why are you trying to go across? Open that body so you can have a more consistent touch. So if you're coming from right to left, open that body so you can control with this left foot yeah. and then play your pass with your left foot, yeah? Same thing on the opposite side. You're being a little bit lazy with your footwork. Play, remember, try and find me on the full if it's a header. Yes, shoulders, take it yourself. Play, yes, come. Good job, deep. Yep, touch across. Play, good, stay where you are. Yep, touch across, furthest foot. Yeah, great touch. Find that net, easy as that. Nice and easy, play. Yes, shoulders, play. Good, good, take it yourself, move it this way, move it this way. Good, yes, Cobes, drop in again. Touch, good, take care of that pass. Play, touch, open that body, play. Good, hold, 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 relax. Two more. Ready, play. Yes, shoulders, play, good. Cushion, find my feet, oh, kill ya. Yeah, great decision, great decision, let's go. Play, open out, touch. Play. Good. Last one, Cobes. So that's the decision you have to make, yeah? If it's not in the air for your header, just use your feet. Last one. Play. Yes. Shoulders. Good. Play. Touch. Kill you there. Play. Yep. Touch across. Play. Find the net. Good, Cobes. That's okay. So with that exercise, obviously trying to kind of put both of the things that we did there. Because obviously you need a lot of footwork, but also you needed to constantly readjust the ball coming forward and coming backwards. So I think we fixed it in the end a little bit by just getting you to open up your body, okay? And the importance of that is huge, huge, huge. So especially when we start to get tired, you start to get a little bit lazy with your feet. As soon as you just focus a little bit more and start focusing on opening open up your body, you set yourself up much better for that pass, okay? Focus on those cushion headers. Must run find feet without that bounce. Hola. Eh, bueno, terminamos ahí, obviamente. Es bastante difícil porque tanta repetición y tanto achique y retroceso. 
cansa mucho al jugador, pero la idea es que él pueda coger consistencia con sus movimientos. Al final, lo que corregimos un poco es que muchas veces Kirby, cuando está recibiendo el balón para después jugar hacia adelante, está usando su pie cercano, lo que está causando que el balón siempre se fuera muy lejos de donde él se quería ir. Entonces, lo que le pedimos es que empezara a abrir un poco su cuerpo para recibir con el pie más lejano y se perfilara mejor para después jugar su próximo pase. Entonces, ahí vimos al final que los últimos cuatro pases todos encontraron eh, el jugador o, 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 o la, el mini gol. Ahora vamos a terminar con un ejercicio completamente defensivo. Listo. Bueno, vamos a terminar ya con un trabajo de, de, defensivo para Kirby. Eh, entonces, si miras hacia allá, look over there. Eh, Kirby va a hacer tres acciones. La primera, él va a defender un, eh, una pelota desde acá, retrocediendo hacia su arco, lo que quiere decir que tiene que eh, perfilarse mejor. Inmediatamente después va a defender uno contra uno contra un jugador que va a tratar de, obviamente, de meter gol desde acá. Y la última acción, le mandará una bola desde acá. Él la tiene que bajar y, y encontrar el volante central o el volante medio 5, 8, 10 desde esa posición. O sea, son tres acciones consecutivas. Cada una requiere una parte diferente como central y después descansa. Vamos a ver cómo nos va. ¿Listo? Cubs, ¿estás ready? So el primer one. Yeah, first one's our recovery one. Second one, you're defending one of the two boys. Third one, you're receiving on the run, finishing, uh, finding your target that, at that goal. Yeah, just one at a time. We might make it two in a sec, but for now, just one at a time. Ready? Play, Cubs. Yes. That's a great ball. Recover. Good. Set up. Set up. Yep. Play. That's a great ball. Yes, Cubs. Come in here. Come in here. Yep. Play. Take it with you. Oh, good. Push to that ball. Good. Guys, great head out of that first one, you know. Ready? Play. Yep. Away. Good. Set up again. Yep. Play. Yes, Cubs. Like it. Entonces, si vemos en esa acción, especialmente la segunda, cuando el atacante venía, obviamente, a tratar de meter el gol, muy bien, porque Cubs tenía su cuerpo abierto y rechaza con la derecha. Algo que, tiene, que suele suceder mucho es que un central, si viene un balón de allá, se cierra y le, y le pega con la izquierda. No puede ver de dónde viene el atacante. Cubs, that second action, very good. Where you had your body open and you actually cleared with your right foot. Yeah, so in an instance where the ball is coming with pace from this side, as a center back, your best bet for a clearance is to send it back where it came from. Yeah, and obviously you could see where Alex was coming from as well, which was very good. Ready? Play. Yep. Play. Ah, drop in. Yep. Oh, it's a great ball, Jules. Like it. Yes, Cobes. Get yourself out. Touch. Good. Take it with you. Hold. Good. Same thing with the head. Obviously, the first cause is coming with a lot of pace. So make the decision whether it just comes back where it came from or it goes out there. A little bit of a cheap uh, corner, that one. Would you agree, Johnny? Don't want to give a corner there. Yep. On the bounce. Good. Yep. It's a great ball, Jules, you know. Yes, Cobbs! Like. Clear. Ah, outside. Just areas there. Like it, Cobbs. Delay. Touch it with your feet and find that net. Good. Yep. Play, Cobbs. Oh, I'll bring that down. Yes, Al. Ah, make a decision there, Cobes. Yep. It's a great ball, you know. Yes, Cobes. Play. Yep. Make a decision. Great clearance, you know. Yep. Ah. Yes, play. Don't ever run the ball. Find target. Good. Last one, lads. So once they split, you can't stay central in between both because otherwise we're not picking either. So in a 2v1 situation, obviously delay as much as you can choosing one. Yeah, but at some point as I'm gonna, as my foot is going back and I'm gonna deliver, we have to make a choice. So there, you have to come either near or far. And if it goes opposite that, well, there's not much you can do, yeah? But in the center, I can pick out either really easy. Boys, last one. Cubs, we're going to make it a double cross. So boys, once you do one, peel back out and come back in. 
So we'll do two crosses. One. Yeah? So four actions all together. Play Cubs. Hip. Good. Good. Ah, make sure of that clearance. Get out, get out, get yourself out, see yourself up. Hip. Ah, oh, Cubs. Yes, Cubs, last one. Hip. Take it with you. Good and ho oh. Oh, yes, Cubs. 2v1. Jump out. Shaz! Oh my word! Bueno, eh, para terminar, ya a Kirby lo están atacando dos contra uno. O sea, él está defendiendo y tiene dos jugadores. Lo que está pasando mucho es que cuando llegó a, a centrar el balón, Kirby se está quedando entre los dos jugadores. Está defendiendo la zona en vez de defender el jugador. Lo que le estoy pidiendo ahora es que al último minuto tra trate de leer el centro y decida si va al palo más cercano o al de atrás yo, o sea, le estoy pidiendo que escoja un jugador en vez de escoger una zona y ya si de pronto lo vence el otro jugador que dejó desmarcado pues no es mucho que pueda hacer porque estamos dos contra uno, entonces vamos a repetir ese proceso pues, y mantener a Kobe tomando esa decisión So, obviously very much a defensive session Give me two or three things that you can get out of that that you can take into your own environment as, as related to the game as possible um, Body positioning um, when receiving the ball as a centre back, touching it forward, opening up mm -hmm. to um, take it on the back foot, um, and yeah, I guess also um, positioning in the in the box when clearing headers. Okay, I thought your position was really good. Yeah. It's just about once once you're in that good position, obviously you have to react to where the yeah. ball goes, so you have to f move your feet a lot quicker. Which yeah. obviously by then on the session we were quite tired. Okay, yeah. um, a key two key ones from me. Number one is. At times you're going to be outnumbered in the box as a defender, especially if there's a transition or you're recovering back to your goal. So just picking the player that you believe is most dangerous and trying to attack him when it's a 2v1, for example, as yep. we're working there. And then the last instance, which we'll see in the video when Coach Shane actually came into attack, which I was saying to Cubs, try and, if you can't beat that player to the air for whatever reason, try and put him at least off balance. So contest that ball where even if they get a header, it's not a clear header where can they, they can generate so much power. Okay, well done, good stuff. Um, para terminar, entonces le estamos preguntando obviamente a Kobe que, que puede sacar de la sesión. Primero, di, eh, nos comentó que obviamente la capacidad del central para perfilarse y recibir el balón mejor para jugar, que fue lo que trabajamos con el gol más pequeño. Y segundo, es también cómo posicionarse en el área cuando vaya eh, a trabajar un centro, que era lo que estamos haciendo al final y tratar de escoger si él está en inferioridad numérica como era el caso acá que está dos atacantes contra un defensor le estamos pidiendo a él que escoja el defensor que él cree que es más peligroso y se perfile y lo ataque cuando venga al centro en vez de quedarse entre los dos y así no puede marcar ninguno y lo último era si él está peleando un cabezazo contra otro jugador que está atacando y, es, y ese jugador le gana el salto por lo menos como central o como defensor él tiene que Tratar de crear contacto con ese atacante para que él no pueda cabecear con tanta facilidad. You know what I mean, Cubs? Bueno. Listo. Love it, Cubs.